fighters there, learning to fly. Steve, I hope the pilot that I get today flying the plane that I'm going on holiday in has already learned to fly. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well done, that is dynamite. That's, so, te that's a textbook link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, genius. Yeah, yeah, very good. Yeah. Where, where are you going? Where, yeah. what, what's the story? Yeah. Where are you off to? Uh, Sorrento. Where's that? Uh, sort of South Italy. Italy? Yeah. But what are you like on holiday? Are you a nightmare? Are you the, no. like... Well, I was you're quite... But you're quite... I mean, obviously, I, you know, I've often said on the radio before that I... I mean, I'm uh, spending any length of time with you is 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 one of the most unbearable <laughs> things I've ever had to do. I mean, spending a week with you is nightmarish, and sharing any kind of accommodation is. Do you know what I mean? No, seriously. I mean, it's like, it's like hell. It's like li a living hell. It's like having a teenager. No, I just do. It's like having know. a sort of teenage kid who can can't be entertained by anything. Just chill out. Just yeah, chill you out. just chill out, dude. Just Max, relax. Yeah, Max, relax. Yeah, yeah. sure, sure. And do you? And so, if you're in somewhere like Italy, like somewhere like that, because that, obviously a very beautiful city mm, and very mm, cultured and stuff. Mm, <laughs> mm, <laughs> so, yeah, mm. is that something that you enjoy? Do you enjoy the culture of that, the, the beautiful architecture? Let's say a hotel's the same anywhere. Good, as long as there's <laughs> right. room service and a nice room in Portland, it's, no, it's nice weather. Sure. If it's not, I'm annoyed. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I need yeah. to blame someone. And is it true that you go because you go to Italy most years, don't you? Is that because that's the only food you like? I eating? like I like pasta and pizza. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I've I've been to other places. I went to France once and. That you can't explain to them to cook it prop, just cook <laughs> it properly. I don't want any to cook yeah, it. It's, yeah. There's blood in the middle of that. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, Hungary, there was it was just oh, I went there for a while and I didn't know I couldn't identify the animals right, they were killing they were for wrong, me. Yeah. So and yeah. I know quite a lot about natural history. Sure. And I couldn't identify what was on the plate, yeah. so I don't. Can I'm a bit early? squeamish. Did you ask for a couple of days? No, I just got, I got annoyed and I, well, I, I went to McDonald's. Yeah. Well, that's um, the great thing about McDonald's is they are in most exactly. major cities. No, yeah. but I, you, can't, I, you can't go wrong with. So pasta if I was with you on holiday and I, you know, we were we were hanging out or whatever. Um and I took you to say maybe a, a beautiful cathedral. Is that yeah. something you'd enjoy? I can't quite imagine you actually taking well, the time to. Well, as long as it, as long as it's not a very long walk, we don't have to stay there more than a couple of minutes. I'd, lo I'd love <laughs> to look around <laughs> places. Right, so you would yeah. you'd look at the cathedral. Yeah. That's taken you know that's, that takes people breath you know takes people's breath away. You know yeah. people travel from around the world to see that. You would. Yeah. And how long would you I don't stay know, travel around the world to see it? I think they go somewhere sure. and they go. Well, and we they, might as well look at the cathedral. You can't miss it. They're huge. Yeah. <laughs> 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 would you? And would you? Uh, would you sort of spend any time looking at that? Would you just sort of soak in the atmosphere for a moment, or you would know, you? I'd look at it and I'd go, "That's brilliant." And then yeah. if there was any sort of soaking in, I can do that later <laughs> when there's nothing to look at. <laughs> right, what there's less to do. Your memory of it later when you're in the bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, you can sure. Sort of, you know, uh, and would you? Um, so, can, uh, can you be kind of in awe of something like that? Yeah, well, well, the fact if, that it's, if it's big, okay. If I, if I go in the cathedral and it's and it's I've seen bigger, I go, oh, seen bigger. <laughs> sure. If it's the biggest one I've seen, I go, that <laughs> is huge. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's you off. Yeah, sure. Because you are you're a sort of man who gets bored, and this is true, Carl. You may not be the fluent. Ricky Gervais is a man who gets bored drinking a glass of water. It's boring because it's not flavoursome enough. No, it's, uh, it's I, not I, got enough flavour. It's, it's absolute. Or, uh, the only uh, Jane's got me onto fizzy water, which at least got something there. Right. Uh, but I only drink that when I'm sort of dehydrated in the middle of the night. I never, there's no, I never drink a drink of water. No, it's, it is boring. Yeah, yeah. Well, but that's why you've always got headaches, and you're always apparently yeah. moaning and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's part of another one of the reasons I hate you. Uh, is in it? A, in, in a, but when I, I don't, when I say hate you, I don't mean I hate you. I didn't mean to, <laughs> I didn't mean to blur it out that like, strongly. <laughs> yeah. uh, what I mean is, if I'm spending a lot of time with you, that's what he said. Well, we're in the BBC canteen, and I was sort of like, and he just put his. And I thought, I said, I'll never eat him with you again. I said, what's the matter? He said, you annoy me. You, I hate eating with you. It annoys me. You've got, it looks like a child food. It's just, you eat chips and sausage and rubbish. You don't eat, look at you, don't touch your vegetables. You don't drink water. He said, you, I, he really got well, annoyed. Because you, you, you've got this, like, the, this hatred of anything that's good for you. He won't eat any form of salad. You just, Why do I eat salad? Because it's good for you and Lettuce is it. boring. Lettuce is absolutely boring. Um, uh, cucumber are boring. But, you know? but, yeah, but the thing is, you see, I admit that lettuce and cucumber have not got much flavour, but that's why people will add, say, a lo in Italy, they'll add a lovely dressing. Yeah. Maybe yeah. some olive oil, maybe some balsamic vinegar. Well, you've embarrassed yourself because the good thing about a nice, mature lump of cheddar cheese <laughs> is you don't have to have any dressing. <laughs> <laughs> Although you add some anyway. I put a little you bit of olive oil in it and maybe some mayonnaise. Maybe but, some uh, Thousand Island dressing. On a Ritz cracker, you don't need it, it's just extra. Sure, sure. Well, good luck. I notice you're wearing the. Is this your travelling gear? You've got the sweatpants and the, yeah. the t shirt, the free t shirt. Yeah. Looking to get an upgrade, are you? Or? I'm, I'm going first class, I'm sure. Right. What's that man? David Bowie. Steve's caught on a way there, just wandering around, not quite ready, were you? Well, no, I'm just relaxing, you know, I'm just yeah. laying back, just hanging. Yeah, Carl. Yeah. Best thing that's ever happened to you? Best event, best day in your life? I mean, there's, there's loads of things that happen. Like, <laughs> uh... Yeah. No, but, do you know what I mean? You can go for obvious stuff like, you know, 
meeting Sue's aunt, yeah. speaking with her. And well, take, take, take that, take that as read. Yeah. 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 You've got that on your design and that's already yeah. done. Well, uh, And the day you, you know, you got your qualifications through. Yeah, the history. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, probably, I mean, when you asked me then, the first thing that came into my mind, right, that was a real surprise. Right, because it's like you, you get surprises on your birthday and that, don't you? Mm. But they're not really surprises because you're hassling your mum and dad for stuff, yeah. and then they, you know, they might bite you. Yeah, so it's not yeah. really a real surprise, is it? Do yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I'd say something that was really like, oh yeah, nice one. I've got something here. Is the time when <laughs> my dad said, "Empty the bin, will you?" Right? <laughs> I said, oh, "Do I have to?" <laughs> And I, I was watching something, it was like, why don't you, or something like that yeah. on the telly. Is this right? what started your tea bag and banana skin collection? <laughs> right. So, it was like, you know in the summer holidays where you'd have dead good telly in the morning, you had like, yeah. uh, the monkeys. Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. It was banana like, splits. You, banana splits yeah, and yeah. all that, right? And I was like, loving that, I was watching that. I mean, I said, empty the bin. I said, oh, the monkeys are on in a minute. He said, well, just empty the bin. So I emptied it and I just put it near the door. He said, don't leave it there. He said, stick it near the bins in the garden. I was like, I'll, I'll put it there later. He said, no, do it now. Yeah. Right? So I was like, oh, if I miss the beginning of this, I'll be livid, be right? Good. So I picked it up quick, ran out down to the bottom of the garden, slung it in the corner, and sort of went to turn back to go back in, and had to look again, because they had like a little AA truck. They Evil. bought me, it wasn't brand new, but he'd got it from somewhere, a little AA go-kart, you know, one of them like, little things. That, I mean, I was, I was young. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it was, was like- go-kart? What kind of- you know the plastic ones? Yeah. When you're about- I, I don't know, I must have been like five or six or something. So I don't quite follow- the, 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 so he sent dad, you out there? My dad sent, sent me out with a bin bag so yeah. I could see so right, what he got me. And yeah. it wasn't my birthday or anything, he just got it from somewhere. You sure you hadn't just nicked it and dumped it out the bag? Possibly. Sure. But uh, that, that was a, like a genuine like, oh yeah, smart. Yeah. So I went back in. Watched the telly and yeah, that for a bit and went back out. You thought, so did, I tell, did I tell you about my go kart? Yeah, that you. Yeah. About your dad giving it away. Yeah. What's the story? I, 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 I think I've told you something. Have you gone? What? Tell it again. Well, uh, uh, have I told it on air? I can't remember. Maybe I just told you. Um, when I was about eight or nine, I had a go kart and I loved it. It's one of those things you press back and forth. Yes. And I used to come in every day. I used to just get changed, run out, and it was. Um, behind the shed, and I used to just go up and down the garden. And one day I came running in, and I ran out, and I couldn't see it. And I went to the back door, and my mum was washing up, and I went, where's my go-kart? She went, your dad swapped it. Your dad swapped it? Yeah. With his, it, was, it was his mate, Jimmy, in the pub. He went, it's just, I said, what, ah. Oh. She went, yeah, he swapped it for a wheelbarrow. So I went and looked back and there was this wheelbarrow, right, <laughs> that was obviously just came off a building site. Yeah. Covered in concrete. Sorry. I couldn't, it was steel, right, ch I could hardly move it. Yeah. And I went back and I went, really? She went, yeah, it's your wheelbarrow. <laughs> See, I'm thinking so, that my dad lost the wheelbarrow that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I used, to, I used to push that up and down, it wasn't the same. And you used then, to push the wheelbarrow up yeah, and down? Anything I mean, in there or? No, I just like to try, I was just trying to sort of keep myself amused. Yeah. But anyway, that summer, I went on holiday. And uh, I went to Bargner with my mum and my nan. Um, <laughs> Another wild holiday. Yeah, yeah. And I was sort of out, out by my caravan, and I, I made friends uh, with this this kid, and he'd hired a go kart from the the caravan. Is that right? And I remember him going around there, and uh, I was, it was it was great. And I said, <laughs> and I said, I've got a go kart. <laughs> and the caravan window opened, and my mum said, "Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> You've uh, got a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> Be truthful." <laughs> <laughs> I went, I had a go-kart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. What Did you ever really forgive him for that? I'd never forgive him, my dad, if he'd swapped a go-kart for a wheelbarrow. I just thought that's part of the course. Yeah. It? You know what I mean? He's yeah. They're in charge. Sure. Did you used to rush home and change and- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Into that sort of gardener's gear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Straight into your hard hat and dungarees. <laughs> I could- Mum, any bricks need moving. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. dear. Oh, that's so tragic. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. that was your happiest day. Yeah. Beautiful cars. So that's, that's the one that sprung to mind. Yeah. Yeah, and my, un, my unhappiest. You see how, how go-karts can be good or bad? <laughs> Does that make you think, Carl, that yeah. the go-kart is, you know, is good and evil? <laughs> yeah. Play a record. Oh, I'm so upset. Ads. Huh? So, so oh, brilliant. What ads have you got? <laughs> I've got these. <laughs> 
Happy Drawn Boy, Spitting in the Wind on XFM 104.9. On Are you going to be taking in any of what? the uh, culture in Italy? Is yeah. that something you do? Yeah. The well, opera? Um, I don't know the about the opera. I've never been to the opera. Either. I do like a, you know, you a bit like of opera. opera yeah, not, I wouldn't sit through a whole one, but I mean, I like, I like the songs they take from it for that World Cup one. <laughs> And those two fat birds that they sang in Shawshank Redemption was good. Yes. But, um, I think, yeah. I, you know, I, I, I haven't gone into it extensively. I haven't studied the <laughs> art. <laughs> the art of opera. Also, it's in foreign, so you don't really know what's happening. It's in foreign. Yeah. yeah. So you don't know That's that. annoying for you. Yeah. yeah. What about, are you, a, are you a fan of any of the great English operas? <laughs> like, um, The Pirates of Penzance? <laughs> yeah. Gilbert <laughs> and Sullivan. <laughs> to me, Gilbert and Sullivan were like the probably their- their day equivalent of like Richard Stilgo getting together with Tony Slattery. <laughs> and then a hundred years later people go, it's brilliant. It- it is like- they might as well, um, I don't know, make th any- any episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway. Right, yeah. Into an opera and in two hundred years time they'll be going, that's genius. Yeah. Listen to this one, look, this is Party Quirks. <laughs> Yeah, Amdram Society. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah. we're a step. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was, well, I was in oh. the Pirates of Penzance once in an amateur production. You used to like Whose Lines It Anyway. I did. That was Although the I did watch it when it first came on Channel 4 about yeah. 15, 20 years ago. But we, um, we did the Pirates of Penzance when I was in an amateur dramatic society in Bristol. Uh, the Bristol Opera Society, Light Opera Society. I don't know why I was involved, because I can't sing. My audition, <laughs> I thought, this is how desperate they were for blokes. I swear to God, right, I can't sing, you know. Who are you? Yeah. Alright, calm down. And, um, <laughs> I, uh, I went in and they said, so what are you gonna sing? I went, uh, well, I, I just, I don't, I, I wanna surprise you. They said, do you want a piano accompaniment? I said, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I went to the back, I swear to God, I went to the back of the room and I just sang, Thumbelina, Thumbelina, <laughs> tiny little thing. Thumbelina, dance. Thumbelina, sing. Thumbelina, what's the difference if you're very small? Cause when your heart is full of love, you're six feet tall. I just did that. And they just looked at me like I was the weirdest <laughs> freak they'd ever had. Oh. Immediately put me in the chorus, because that oh. was how desperate they were for blokes. We yeah. stage we rehearsed it. I couldn't remember the lyrics. <laughs> Thank God you were doing Thumbelina. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but dear. I couldn't, I couldn't, um, I, you know, I couldn't remember the lyrics. What was it for? Was it Gilbert and Sullivan? It was, it was the Pirates of Penzance. Oh. There weren't enough blokes, right, so that we had to double up. So some of the pirates <laughs> had to double up as the policemen who were chasing the pirates. A little bit problematic in the scene when the policemen and the pirates have a fight. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit tricky. <laughs> and the worst thing, so there's this sequence where, like, the, the sort of the daughters of the Major General all kind of like, oh, beautiful, something like, you know, um, oh, beautiful little girls are we, da la 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 la. And the women they had, they must have all been over 40. I mean, mm. real kind of oh. toothless crones oh. creeping around in their 90s. Is it the sort of women that buy one of those sort of porcelain dolls? Exactly. From the and go, yeah. Look, I've had a baby. It's not a real baby. <laughs> it is a real baby. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you. Yeah. One of those. Exactly. It's the sort of women that you'd see maybe on uh, TV's Bargain Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the kind of contestants you get on there. Those are women who, who sort of very in Amdram and they, they think they've clung on to their looks, but they've oh. never made it in, in, uh, the guy who was playing the, uh, there's a guy who's supposed to be an eighteen-year-old prince, an uh, eighteen-year-old pirate, uh, the pirate king. He must have been forty <laughs> a day. He also directed the show, though, so he got to prance around in these thigh-high boots. <laughs> Ludicrous. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> it was shameful, really. I'd I love to go to Amdram. Amdram is a whole other world. It's just, it's such an incredible place. Because there's so much backbiting and envy and really, oh, it's incredible. I mean, it's worse than the real world of theatre and TV. It's unbelievable. Because the same old people get to do it every year because they can hold a note. Can it's, we go along? You would absolutely adore it, Jervais. It Just is film it, a secret camera. Have you ever done the in a, in a play, Pilk? We know that it's Carl. You've, uh, you've performed just it. Just the, uh, the talent show, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, the talent show. Yeah. Reminders of the talent and, show. Uh, that's when I did uh, walk like an Egyptian, dressed up as a woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, did me magic trick. Oh, that's that. Is it an egg? The egg one. Yeah. Um, what was the egg one again? When I, uh, I should have ruined it now saying the egg one, but I went on stage with like an Anki. Yeah. And I said, uh, at this point I was dressed up as a caretaker in it. <laughs> sure. I don't know why, can't remember. No. But I was oh, stood there <laughs> with this, uh, with this Anki over my hand. Yeah. And I said, right, you're gonna love this one. Yeah. I said, I'm gonna make a, a bird appear in front of your, in front of your eyes. Right? Yeah. And I'm like, oh my god, what's he gonna do? So I'm stood there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they did. Yeah. Pulled the Anki off. It was an egg. Had an egg and I said, oh, it hasn't been born yet. That's brilliant. They loved it. They, yeah. Yeah. Went wild for it, did they? Round of applause. Yeah. How uh, old were you? Was that, that you like was, 17? Was right? that, apart from the, apart from your paper round, was that the high point of your life so far? 
Uh, is that the- what's the- No, I think it didn't really- Carl, I'd like it. to see you take that on the road. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe at least up to the Edinburgh Festival next year. <laughs> Carl, we're gonna play a song now, right? One of my- f a great track, Watch That Man, off one of my favourite albums, The Love Insane by David Bowie. But, during that, can- can you- can you think of a couple of things for me? What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Can you- can you think about that for three minutes? Me and Steve will leave you alone. Just the best thing that's ever happened to you, remembering thinking that is amazing. Yeah, can you do that? Play the, right. play the record. Right, tell the other story that you totally, you totally believe this as a true story, don't you? The fellow with the, the, um, being killed. Right, do you know how the other week we were talking about some fella who had <laughs> his head cut off? And he said, uh, when my head goes into, into the basket, I'm gonna blink a lot. See how many times I can blink. But if you remember, when Carl first told me that, it was, uh, um, I think it was Simon or, um, uh, Nick that had to point you that. He goes, no, that's not quite right, Carl. Carl told me it, that he had his head cut off, and when his head was in the basket, it looked up and said, count how many times I blink. <laughs> yeah, sure. But he believed that as well. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, he was yeah, happy, yeah. he was happy with that. Sure. Do you know Sorry, what I mean? Sorry, so, so, yeah, you got that. A couple of weeks ago, there was a guy, he had his head cut off, and before he had it off, he'd said, I'm gonna blink to show yeah. that there's life after death. And, and, and he, did, he did 32 blinks, yeah, right? Sure. So, you two were sort of pointing that down the other yeah, week. We were skeptical so, that. I looked again. On the internet? At some other website. Mm. Yep. And there's a guy. Sorry, it's the website, just to clarify, the website is the place where you bought that property on the moon, didn't you? Because it was a bargain. <laughs> right. So, um, <laughs> this guy... Been gazumped. Look, we'll see who's been gazumped when, <laughs> when this world ends, yeah. I've got somewhere to go, yeah. all right? And I know you'll be calling me up, saying, oh, can I come with you? I haven't got, like, two squares foot. foot. <laughs> no, I've got eight. You're gonna have to stand <laughs> deadly still <laughs> on the moon <laughs> in your two square foot. I've got about There's no place for Suzanne, it'll just yeah. be you. Twelve off, love. It's um, all- it's all those people with big heads and web feet that have been buying it all these years. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, right. right. Go on. Anyway. Play a record, tell us a story after it. We've been oh, chatting for Sorry, Carl. No, it, it, there's no record. Play a tune, we'll come back with what this. What's this, another ghost story? Oh, uh, let's play my, one of my favourite songs of all time. I'll go on holiday and get into a lovely, serene move. Serene Sorrento is probably from that. Uh, it's Neil Young, after the gold rush. Beautiful. Still to come, that competition as well. Look forward to that. Carl's quiz. Yeah. Well, I dreamed I saw the. What an amazing track Beautiful that is. Tune, yeah. Neil Young, Dynamo. after the gold rush. So go on, Carl. Sorry. Go on, Carl. So let's take us back a few steps, Carl. What, what's, what's the story? Right, so I did some research. Right. <laughs> Let's just recap again. The guy, there was a guy you read about who had his head chopped off, he was guillotined. Yeah. He had said to the people around him, Count I am blinks. going to blink once I've had my head cut off. To so show the brain can still. Or the brain yeah. can continue to work out after, yeah. after yeah. death. Okay, so yeah, we queried that. So you, you weren't having any of it? Well, no, possibly for a few seconds till the, the oxygen stops being fed to the cells because the blood has drained away. But, you know, no, nothing spectacular. So right, go on. Well, along the similar sort of lines, right? This is quite a few years ago. Um, this fella sort of upset the royal family doing something, right? Uh -huh. So they said that this isn't good. It wasn't Ben Outland at that jubilee thing, was I it? Can't, I can't remember what it was. And they said, right, <laughs> that was terrible. We're yeah. gonna uh, we're gonna cut your head off. Um, you know, oh. you gotta you gotta show people that you can't be doing what you've been doing. What was this? <laughs> the nineteen seventies? When you said a couple of years ago, you mean maybe sort of? Was it the olden days when the phones weren't very good? Ages ago. Yeah. Ages ago, sure. So, um, so, so yeah, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. So. <laughs> very philosophical. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Near yeah. Yeah. This was yeah. literally ages ago. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, go Simon Sharma's History of Britain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. and even before that, which is young, <laughs> yeah. before, when it was all mental and different. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Carl, go on. So he's having his head cough and he's, but no, he's resigned to it's, it. It's a day before, he's kind of got it into his head now that I'm not gonna have my head, uh, much longer. Sure. So he said, let's, let's make use of this. Yeah. <laughs> He said, uh, <laughs> I wonder how long, like, the body can stay alive yeah. without the head on it, <laughs> right? So they were like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh. Hoover. So. The jailers? Whoever he was. The These jailers with one eye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get that, time. So, so he said, no, look, wait a minute, I've got an interesting scientific experiment, jailer. Well, yeah. fair enough. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he said, what I want to do, right? He said, um, you know, surely it's, it's my last right. You know, I'm gonna mm. be, I'm gonna be dead tomorrow. Sure. So, um, let's he do a test. He didn't draw it out this long, did he? Yeah, he said, let, let's, let's, let's test this out. You know, he okay. said, do us a favour. He said, you know, it's my last day. Um, what I want you to do is, you're gonna cut my head off. Let's put a white line on the floor. Right. And see if 
you know, because there's no point asking how far he can sort of walk without an head if there isn't a line because you, you don't know what to count, do you know what I mean? If it's just, if he loses his head and he's running around all over the place, you can't yeah, really count that's that. That's not impressive enough, yeah. So, so they said, let's make a white line. Sure, yeah. Who and said this? He did all they did. I think they started to join in with him and saying, well, let's make yeah. this a, you Sure. Know. You guess <laughs> it, go on. So, uh, <laughs> They got Norris McWhorter down. <laughs> <laughs> the Guinness people. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they said, let's get this white line. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Dedication's all you need. We'll, we'll do this, we'll do this tomorrow. And he said, all right, then, yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. So see you in the morning! I'll see you in the morning! <laughs> night, night, sleep tight. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, I love the fact that Carl knows exactly what was said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. He doesn't know the story yeah. or what order it is yeah. in or when but it he was. Knows exactly what or was said. Said what, but he knows the interview. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, see you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> mm, bye. Oh, kissy, kissy, kissy. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I'm not like that. Oh, you joker. Oh, don't let the bed bugs bite. Yeah. Anyway. So uh, he gets up. Do you want a paper yeah. tomorrow? No, I'm all right. Go on. He gets up mm. and they say, right, you know, today's the day and that. And he said, well, you know, I've got, <laughs> got used to the idea. So yeah. here's, here's a white line for you. Got <laughs> used to the idea. <laughs> go on. So, uh, so they go, right, are you ready then? And he said, I go on. And they cut his head off. And the body walked 32 steps without <laughs> a head. Wow. 32 steps. Incredible. And that's, that's, that's the lesson, really. Did it get as far as the white, it walked along the white line, did yeah, it? Yeah, it stayed along the white line, did 32 steps, and then started to stumble a bit, and it just fell over. Yeah, yeah. But, it you know, it was be. a test that your body can still keep alive for a little bit. Yeah. When, when you've lost your head. Absolute twaddle. <laughs> Absolute twaddle. <laughs> what, what do you reckon you can do, then, without an head? <laughs> how, how many steps? Nothing. There'd be muscular spasm, right? Yeah. It, it would twitch uh, a bit. It would, yeah. You could not distinctly take 32 steps, mm -hmm. the body could- well don't- Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is the doctor still on the line? Yeah. The fellow that bought six parrots? Yeah. And uh, you know, you could have got 32 steps. Right, so a you don't believe that- doing a bit of line dancing. Right, you don't believe that, but something that you do believe that a cockroach can live a week without an head. It can. Hmm. Slightly different. Slightly different kettle of fish there. Why? Well, mm, insect to- uh, human <laughs> is is the, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, that difference. There's not that much difference in well, some insects. Do you know that a snake has a heart and lungs and kidneys and stuff? Go on. No, well I'm just saying. So you're making out as if like they're a totally different like species. <laughs> I am. I am making that up. I mean, call Rick, me old fashioned. Do you know what you're talking about? Now? I don't want you embarrassing yourself, Rick. <laughs> yeah, I am suggesting they're totally different beings. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Um, now, Carl, uh, the, the the cockroach is is a very different thing. The interesting there is that it lives. It lives by its head because a lot of it's on. Uh, 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 that there's some of them are phototropic, chemotropic. Some of them just literally have uh, irritation and muscle memory. I mean, they do have a central nervous system, but it, it, it's it's very different. So if you lose the head, it bypasses a lot of that anyway. All this is running around. The reason it dies is because it can't take on water. But it's very different to a man, <laughs> right, having consciousness and then losing that, and the body's still going. Now I remember. I think I remember what I was going to do here. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to carefully walk, walk 32 steps along this white line. I imagine you just looking at going, oh, missed a bit. Yeah. Um, maybe the head was in the corner going, left, <laughs> yeah. left, you <laughs> left. Oh, he's now. Well, let's just put it out. I mean, if 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 anyone listening has uh, has maybe had a relative <laughs> beheaded, maybe in a hor horrendous car accident, <laughs> where they got up, maybe they they went for a walk. Uh, they you know they 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 had a little chat. Before oh they dear, on. Carl, get in touch. You know, oh, get, you Carl, know you, you you are my favourite being. You are my favourite species. Now you, Carl, may not be particularly different genetically <laughs> from a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> you are generally speaking. Why can cockroaches speaking? do that? Why are you ever made them get when? Let's play a record. Do, do you know what, when I told him this fact, I send him little facts on text messages just to inflame his, you know, interest. I just sent him a cockroach can live nine days without its head. Mm. He texted back, what's the point of that? Yeah. What's the point of They're that? They're not doing experiments, these cockroaches. <laughs> no, it's, it's, a, it's a boring last week to have. <laughs> 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 and he went, and I'm talking all that, you're thirsty. <laughs> so yeah. it's the worst week of your life, isn't it? That week without your head. Play a record, Play a record, Carl. Competition time next. Oh. oh. He's oh. Look at his little face. Oh, Look at his little face. He's not in Carl's competition. <laughs> oh. oh. He could live without an head. 
Well, what was that thing you told me the, the other day as well, of talking about it? People have been phoning up about this. I don't think we should talk about conditions of the mind and brain. Well, that woman's but, put you right. Yeah, shown us it's uh, hydrocephalus, it could be, and uh, all it is is that it's, it, it's totally curable and it, it, normal life. What they do is it's a baby born with sort of water on the brain and it comes out, must hurt a bit in childbirth, and then they just uh, drain it off. It's just full of water. I tell you what. What? It just reminded me of what? weird stuff going on in the but world. But it was a baby, was it? This was a- maybe it was a baby. Maybe it was- or oh, maybe it was a baby, but it had water on the everything. Well, listen, right, I don't, Go on. this was a kid with a big head, as far as I'm concerned, he wasn't a baby. Go but on. we know what he's got, everything's sorted. But other things, right, <laughs> that are weird in the world, yeah, you know go on, you're Carl. always like, um, yeah. you're going on about, uh, there's no ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Right? How do you answer this one? Someone here who I work with, yeah. right? I'm not going to say the are because it doesn't matter. <laughs> but they were eating uh, space cake, right? What do you mean by that, Carl? Explain. What's for, a space cake for people who? It's who, some it's some sort of druggy cake, isn't it? Yeah. Right. A dope brownie or whatever. Yeah. Right. So 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 with so with cannabis in it. Is that what you're saying? I think it's something stronger than that, isn't it? I don't know. But right. anyway, he was having this space cake. And you, you better give me the name now, Carl, because I've got to report him. <laughs> no, listen. Is listen any, no, 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 no. It, really it is still matter. no. Is it Sturgis? <laughs> was it Claire Sturgis? Yeah, she wouldn't say bother. She does. She's gone on the hardest. She doesn't bother with those. Doesn't do anything to her now. To the vein, yeah. <laughs> so listen, yeah. right? So he's at a party, right, yeah. with his mates, mm. and they're listening to um, the uh, Star Sailor album, uh -huh. right? Right. And uh, he's sat there, and he's had some of this cake, right? And. He's listening to the album, and his mate sat across the way talking to someone else. Hmm. Right? That's weird. The album's on, mm. and he thinks to himself, this track's going on a bit. Yeah. yeah. And his mate across the way, who's talking to someone else, heard him say it. Heard him say it, and he goes, Yeah. He goes, Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So he goes, Oh. Right. And he goes, See, usually at this point, I say this bloke taking drugs, but you started the story <laughs> yeah. with this bloke. No, 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 no. Had done some drugs, since, right, Rick? No, he, if he if he was here now, yeah, right, he would say, yeah, I know, I think it sounds, I know it sounds mental, yeah, yeah. but it happened, and yeah. it wasn't just a one question. It wasn't just like, oh, this track's a bit long, in it. Yeah, it is. He had a it whole conversation. A whole conversation sure. with the guy. And yeah. what, and but sorry, I, I just want to clarify. You mean he had the whole conversation telepathically? Yeah. Right. He didn't just shout across the And they've recently room. met up and like they've sat there and, and tried to like work out mm. what happened. Mm. And it's Without, not about they don't have to talk at all anymore. Yeah. Why did they meet up? Couldn't they have just done it like in their own home? Do they have to have that cake before they yeah, start before they having a chance. conversation? Hold on, wait a minute, lads. Why are we using our lips? Yeah. This is using way too many for. I'll take them. There you go. <laughs> my, my only question with that is, uh, being sceptics like Ricky and I, whenever we hear a story like that about the paranormal, the first thing we always look for is maybe some- maybe some other explanation. Yeah. Maybe one vague idea. Lying? Could be lying. Uh, Chinese or, whisper. Um, as, as, you, as I think you pointed out, there are drugs. It's often, drugs. Uh, it's often <laughs> an issue as Madness, well. Madness. Yeah. Fear. Delusion. Mm. Mm. Sleep. Yeah. You know, there, there, there are there are so many things you go through I'm gonna before go with the drugs. <laughs> before your dead grandmother <laughs> exactly. pops into the equation. I'm gonna for me. go with the acid. Electric soft parade, same way every day on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with him, Steve Merchant. Sure. Rick, I um, I only had one thing I had to do all week. Okay, what was that? I only had. To, I was all week. I was so excited about getting up Friday morning, phoning, getting Bruce Springsteen oh, tickets. Oh yeah. The boss is playing in. Yeah. Uh, in yeah. October, and basically got up too late. Well, not sold out already. You just sold didn't out. Get... It had sold out, but I started calling about twelve thirty. It sold out. I trawled the net. I trawled uh, all yeah, the phone but lines. A lot of, yeah, some of those buys are bulk buys for selling on, aren't they? They're not all this individuals. Is the this They're is the problem. I mean, I don't know how many people they can fit in Wembley Arena, but sold out by twelve thirty, and that's popular. Wembley Arena. Yeah, it's about twelve thousand. It. I was so gutted. It was all I had to do. I was so looking forward to it. I phoned up one of those like do quite dodgy ticket agencies. Do you know how much he was offering? To, you know, they're like they're forty five quid to buy. Mm. He said the starting price is two hundred and twenty five quid. I mean, that to me is like a ticket tout, like a legal ticket tout. Are they allowed to do that? I don't know, it's crazy. I was so they angry. They could make, is that, they, they'd have to say their booking fee was £150. Yeah, exactly. 
So I- but now I'm just- I'm like desperate, I don't know what to do, I'm just wondering if I can abuse our position on the radio and just try and scrounge them from anyone <laughs> who's listening. No, I mean anyone who's listening who's got the power to get them, you know, or- This is begging, or, isn't it? It's, it's- it's- it's exactly what it is, Rick, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna try and dress it up, yeah. but it's just begging. I'm just- ticket touts after you as well, exactly. dissing him. Ricky dot Gervais Don't bring me into it. Shut up. Ricky dot Gervais at xfm.co.uk, if there's anything you can do to get me a ticket, I'm willing to pay for it. Um, up to the point oh, of forty-five big. quid. Okay, you know. Yeah. Wow. No the second hand. Yeah, exactly. Thirty. Yeah. You don't. You don't want to throw yeah. your money I'll around. Give Steve. twenty-five quid. Come on. <laughs> don't you know yeah. who I am? Yeah. But um. But that, I mean, do you know what I mean? Because I'm just, like, I asked Carl if he could sort it out. He's done nothing. He's achieved nothing. I know. So I'm just desperate. I'm in a desperate situation and I don't quite know what to do. I'll tell you this though, Carl. D don't bother doing favours for him because he's not grateful. He, he, you give him something and he goes, right, does this mean I have to give you something back? And I go, well, no. He goes, good. <laughs> well, I got your Cure tickets and you did nothing yeah, but whinge about it. Yeah, it was rubbish, that gig. There you go, It then. was rubbish. I went along to that gig, it was a balmy summer's night. The Cure, as far as I'm concerned, owed me a balmy summer's night, because I wasted it. Hour and a half they played for, they played four hits. I don't want to hear their dirge from, like, some dodgy album and from, like, 1984. I'm not interested. Play the hits. Boys Don't Cry, Love Cats, blah, 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 blah. Instead, I got nothing. I was so angry. I was, I was just, oh, man, I you was You were probably angry. angry at Carl, weren't you? I was angry at Carl for wasting my time getting yeah. me the tickets for Do free. You know if I, mean, I paid for it, you get, you get to see living. what sort of a bloke Steve Merchant is. Mm -hmm. No, it's not the point. Do you not agree though? If you're going to go and see a band like The Cure on a summer's night, yeah. Hyde Park, you do not want to hear some obscure B-sides and album tracks. But that, that's what—that was a great thing about when when I saw Bowie at the BBC. He played. Well, you what? He, you know about that? I don't know about this. Yeah, you do. What? When did you see Bowie? At the Jonathan Ross recording. Oh, what? Your showbiz friend Jonathan Ross? <laughs> yeah. What yeah. was this? Was that that TV thing he did? Yeah. You went to that? You haven't told me about this. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Well, you were away, I think. No, I wasn't. Because I watched it on TV. It was amazing. Well, don't tell me that. It was incredible. Were you seriously there? Yeah. And then, then I went on to a show on the Saturday. Did it, you? Yeah. Because I was just where John said, oh, I need someone to come in, yeah. And I went on to the radio show. So TV you were show. hanging out with Bowie? Yeah. And yes. <laughs> Go on. Who else was there? <laughs> Well, the weird thing was. Shall I go through my favourite artists and you just name <laughs> them and see if, if they were there? Just let me know. <laughs> no, but it was amazing, right? Because he started. He played um, uh, just doing local. Because it, it was that. Um, it was the meltdown thing, and he did uh, be my wife, which was great. Then he started doing fame. Right, and they'd been talking about Ziggy in the um, the interview. He was going, "Oh, everyone goes on Ziggy. Will you just stop it?" Right, and it was sort of like got to a point where he was going, "Oh," and it was really funny. And uh, uh, but Jonathan's got a favourite phase with that. Right? And then he started playing um, fame. And it was really good, and he just went, stop this, stop this. This isn't, no, uh, this, uh, let's do Ziggy. And oh. a sp uh, my spine tingled. I was worried. And he's Ziggy Stardust, and I'll tell you what, it sounded like the album version. And it's got an amazing band, and it was, and I love it when they do that. They know, I hate it when they, just because they've been going for 25 years, they start changing Sorry, it. Sorry, I can't believe that you went to this, that you knew you were going to this, and you never asked me, you never asked Jonathan if you could get me in. I mean, seriously, I, w I mean, you know how much that would have meant. Yeah, to but me. it was very tight. Apparently, I, I, I know, but it was very, very, it was very sort of. Apparently, Richard uh, Branson couldn't get in. There was a queue, so I was like, especially it was. There was me, me and Jane went. Um, uh, D David Badil and uh, Frank Skinner. Oh, what, some new showbiz <laughs> friends of yours? Aren't no, they? no, I mean that we. That, <laughs> I'm rubbing it in, Steve. I, I can't. I'm just. <laughs> but you might not have liked it. You might have complained like Carl got you the you... cure, and you 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 turned that it back. That was rubbish, on it. though. That was rubbish. Well, you might not have liked what David did. You know, I'll tell you I, this seriously. If if I find out that you do the, that you've gone to some secret gig or something in the future, and I find out you've been seriously, that's it. There's no more office. There's no more. No, no I'm not joking. I'm not mucking around because that to me is like that's what friendship is. That's like a textbook example of friendship. What do you think, Carl? No, uh, I just think that's no, you really off. No, you I just think away. that's really you off. Were, you, you no, I wasn't away. Yeah, you were, yeah. I wasn't away. Don't try and fool me. Yeah. I wouldn't have been away if I was away. I wouldn't have been away. You if were you told asleep. Me that was happening. You were asleep. I'm. I, I'm seriously. I'm. You can, we can joke about it, but I'm really angry about this. What do you think, Carl? <sighs> there's a secret, right? There's a, apparently there's a secret Bruce Springsteen gig that's been planned. I'm going. It's all, are you? I, if you, seriously, <laughs> if you, <laughs> but seriously, if you, if, if I find out you're at that, oh, I will, I mean. Oh, dear. T play a record so I can shout expletives at you can do this. Oh, I, I tell you what, lovely bit of electronic. Oh. Just to cook, uh, calm and, and soothe me. I'm just, seriously, I'm not joking, that really winds me up. That yes. really winds me up. The cure was good. <laughs>
And Rockbusters, Steve, if you've got a better competition, then we'll do yours. That's fine. Uh, do you know what I mean? If that's what you want to do, we'll do. What, what, what did you want to do? No, I was just wondering whether we should perhaps not do a quiz at all rather than do that piece of rubbish. It might be better to have nothing. It might be better just to have silence during that part of the show than have Rockbusters. How I about, don't know. If we could discuss it. If I give you the clues mm -hmm. and that, and if you think they sound rubbish, we're not doing it. <laughs> well, I know that. I guarantee they're going to sound rubbish. All right, let's make it the last Rockbusters then. This is the last Rockbusters. Well, it depends. This is it. Okay, this is a. If it's good, we, you get a reprieve. It's all about this. Mm. Okay. Okay. Go on then, let's do Rockbusters then. Oh, we're doing it now. Should we play a record and do it after that? Do it after. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you the prizes and then we'll come back with the, uh, the clues. I, I, cause I've, I've dug up that REM track. Excellent. So it's an interactive show. Okay, we've got the best summer holiday album ever. What we've got on there, it's brilliant. got Elvis versus Junkie XL, that's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Uh, Holly Valance is on there. Yeah. Laz Ketchup, it's all the stuff that the XFM listener I is craving. Tribute to the Ramones it, album, we've got, uh, 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 Red Hot Chili Peppers are on there, Metallica. Yeah. Uh, Street Legal from Bob Dylan, that's nice. Brilliant. Did you just buy that in the four for twenty pounds from HMV deal? Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> um, once that's again. That's a good album. The Talons of Weng Chiang, a Doctor Who classic. Yeah. And uh, there's something for uh, for the XFM listener, uh, Eight Mile on DVD. I as thought well. that was nice, that film. That was, that, the last bit was funny. It was, it's a, it's a good film. <laughs> anyway, listen, Rockbusters. Oh, come on then. Let's get it done. Um, really? Yeah. Come on then. Right, so cryptic clues and initials, you work it out, it's a band and stuff. Yeah. Right, Brilliant. first one. Bob Holness. Uh, the first clue, <laughs> um, the doctor said part of the foot and the leg was no good, so he took him off and he threw him away. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the clue, the initials okay. TB. TB. Okay. Right, the doctor said part of the foot and the leg was no good, so he took him off and threw them away. Second one, the Scottish monster has got a, a, a bit of a tan. Right, the Scottish monster has got a bit of a tan. Okay. That's, uh, that's TD, right? <laughs> and, uh, the last one, uh, well, the, uh, the 60s singer had a heart attack whilst he was having it away. We won't be seeing him again. <laughs> right, and that's <laughs> F-N-M. F-N-M. <laughs> well, the 60s singer's had a heart attack. He was having it away. We won't be seeing him again. Email in. Ricky Dot Gervais, excellent. Remember, this is to head. save Rockbusters. If people don't get this, right, it's no more. So you better, if you want this feature to stay, you better get the clues. Right. It's the, the Rockbusters re results, really, because th this is, um, and a very important result. It's whether, uh, they, uh, stay in the Premiership or are relegated. This is the playoffs for Carl. Okay? You need three points. You need three points to stay up, Carl. Mm -hmm. Go on. Right, the, uh, there's a lot of right answers in that. Right, uh, okay, that's, that's, that's in your favour, you, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the first clue was, uh, the doctor said part of the foot and the leg was no good, so he took them off, he threw them away. Yeah. The initials TB. Yeah. Right? Go on. Toe, knee, binnit. <laughs> right, that's Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett. Tony Bennett. Yeah. Okay, that's a warning. That's a yellow card. That is a yellow card, but you've, you can still get the points. Right. Uh... Because his name's not Binnett. <laughs> Tony, brilliant. Tony, perfect. A pun. Toe, knee, his name's Tony. Perfect. Binnett, no, his name's right. Bennett. <laughs> See? Well, he's, he's, he's in London this week as well, so I don't know if it's sold out. I won't mind. Are you on drugs? Or uh, have you- uh, did I actually crack your head? Did I actually give you some brain damage? Cos you're worse than usual now, it's like- uh, go on. Right, the second one. Uh... That Scottish fella- We've gotta speed this show no, up! hang on a minute, hang on, I've just gotta make sure it's right, we don't wanna look stupid. Right? <laughs> that Scottish monster has got a bit of a tan. I don't think we can look stupid with right. material like T this. T-T-D, that Scottish monster's got a bit of a tan, the answer there, the darkness. I'll give you that. Right. Well uh, done. And the last one. Goal. Goal. Uh, the 60s singer, he had a heart attack the other way whilst, uh, having it away, you won't be seeing him again. The initials F and M, that's Faith No More. Adam Faith. Right. No! Doesn't count! Why not? Adam Faith No More. Right. Adam Faith No More? <laughs> 
So, so, sorry, what is the clue? Is the clue Adam Faith, or is it Faith No well, More? It's Faith, I suppose. Just Faith No More. <laughs> as a sexy singer. So we got that, that's that. Safe for next week. What, who's the winner? <laughs> what do you make of it? You've got the deciding vote, Rick. Well, Come on. I mean, you know my I mean, it, wor it works Faith No More, but he's mixed up what cryptic is and that, cos it start- cos the, the fella- I mean, Adam Faith- did actually die having it away, didn't he? Yeah. So it's all about him. It's all right. All the facts are right. Anyway. Uh, okay, I think he's got a reprieve. I think I'll give it to him. I think I've got to give it to him, oh. Steve. I think I have. He's, he actually pulled that out of the bag, that one. There's oh. no- there's no Jamaican fellas seeing icebergs or, you know, Whitney Houston. The closest he came to is Bennett, Binnett, and I've got to give him- let him off that. All I've right. got to be a fair ref here. Well, fair- fair, fair enough. Anyway, Carl, look, let's have, um, uh, let's have a little quick session of uh, White Van Man. For uh, those that don't listen to the show regularly, uh, The Sun, as you may know, has a <laughs> section called White Van Man where uh, a member of the public gets to ask their opinions on the uh, week's big uh, political and social hot potatoes. Carl, we just thought uh, it would be funny if you answered some of the uh, questions. It's not so much questions, it's just your views, really, on these big, these big news stories. Uh, what do you make of Olympic ski hero Alan Baxter testing positive for drugs? What did he do? Well, he won a gold medal in the Olympics and for he... What? He was, a ski, he was a skier, right. and he won gold medal, and uh, they've just tested him positive for uh, some kind of illegal drug. But what, I mean, if he did, why take drugs to ski? <laughs> why Because all you do it? is balance. But imagine, it'd be amazing if you were stoned, like, going down a hill. Yeah, it's not like you have yeah, to... It's not, it's not gonna help you, is no, it? No, it's, it's just like... gravity that's doing all the work, isn't it, with skiing? Yeah, but it's often to do with your uh, <laughs> athleticism, isn't it? It's no, but even you... like saying, and we've just found out the people on the toboggan were on crack. It's not, it's not gonna <laughs> help them. <laughs> You, yeah, sit, you sit there and you go with the flow. Yeah. And you could try I, could, it I, and you hold could on. I say? Could I say? The, the, the drugs Apparently he was taking. That's his defense. Probably. The, it, it, it wasn't. It probably wasn't jacking up H or you know dropping a few E's or getting stoned. He was probably taking more sort of uh, you know, performance enhancing drugs as opposed to him just like scoring some shit around the corner but, from someone, getting isn't... off his tits and jumping in a toboggan. <laughs> Doesn't mean that, yeah. does it? He wasn't, yeah, he wasn't <laughs> off his nut. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have, you have, uh, you tested you, you're pissed out of your head. But why doesn't he just say, don't be stupid, why would I do that? It's just not gonna help me out. But it is, isn't it? Cos, uh, performance enhancing drugs do. Wait a minute, Steve, wait a minute, Carl. Right, look at this way. Okay, look at me, yeah? I've got, have I got his attention? Yeah, the, 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 the light's glint glinting off your ring there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Okay, right, now, keep concentrating. Right. Some athletes, you're aware they take drugs, that's to build up swimmers muscle. Swimmers and stuff. <laughs> yeah, swimmers. Runners. Example, runners, yeah. No, not only do they help build muscle, right, but they, they can actually, you know, give them a boost performance while yeah. they're sort of like steroids and all, all this sort of stuff, right? So that's the sort of thing we're talking about, okay? Right, so again, he, was, he wasn't on a bomb before. You? What? Why would that help you when you. All you've got to do is balance on skis. <laughs> not uh, when you're at the Olympic level. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot to do with, you know, your body and no, your it's legs. It's practice, isn't it? It's like if, you, if, if you've skied for years, then you've got good balance after a bit. Oh, okay. you know Carl, do you know what? You've made a mockery of drug taking. Well done. Yeah. Right, next one, Steve. I Very ate enough. this bit. I ate this. Um, I don't know if you saw it, what did you make of Posh Spice's Warts and All documentary? <laughs> yeah, I saw a bit of it. What did you make of it? Uh, I mean, people are slagging him off, aren't they, saying, you know, she's daft and that, but... <laughs> don't make you! She's... Uh, <laughs> I, I think they're alright, honestly. Yeah, You know, all right. she's alright. I mean, I think David's really a decent bloke. Sure. Um... Would you yeah. agree that he's quite a simple man? Yeah, but he's a footballer, he doesn't need to be, do you know what I mean? It's like me. Yeah. Like, you know, alright, I only got an E in history. Sure. But knowing about the Tudors doesn't help me press these buttons and put the next CD on. No, sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, good luck to him, and he's done well out of it, and it's just yeah. jealousy. Yeah. I remember, though, um, when, I when I was back in Manchester, I was in Piccadilly train station, and he was there, right? Not as big a star as he is now, yeah. back then, but he was stood there, and I, I was so close to going over to him and saying, did you go to my school? Because I recognised his face, oh, but I no. didn't know who he was. Do you know when you <laughs> sort of go, sure I went to school, it's not the one with the big head. Yeah. But I do recognise him and then my girlfriend got off the train and I said, I'm sure I know him. She said, yeah, it's David Beckham. And I was oh, so thank close. thank God for your girlfriend. Does she, yeah. does she get an awful lot of scrapes, does she? She does, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, what more. about the fact that uh, the pension crisis sure. is going to force Britons to work into their 70s, Carl? You might have to carry on working into your 70s before you can claim a pension. I think it's a good thing. Um, cos you see a lot of old people who look bored. <laughs> okay. And I honestly think, if you, you keep, if you keep your brain busy, yeah. you'll live longer. Yeah. It's only when you actually shut down, right, that 
that's when your body sort of dies because it, it doesn't feel it has a purpose. Yeah. It's like if you've got flu, mm. keep going to work. <laughs> if you have a day off, you just feel worse. You'll mope about at home. Doesn't do you any good. What about where, where do you draw the line there? Though? What if you say lose a finger, pop into work? Um, depends if if you can't concentrate because it's painful. But right. what if you're a typist? Or You're not going to type as many words, but you, you'll do more at work than you would having a day off at home. Sure. OK. Um, Tony Blair turning trendy with his uh, Paul Smith-designed naked lady shirt. I don't know if you've seen this. It's the one no. with the uh, pictures of naked ladies on the cuffs. And, you know, I mean... OK. Um, and finally... Uh, that, you see, this is what annoys me about this feature. It's just, what's that? So what? Yeah, but it's the, pres it's the Prime Minister of this country wearing a trendy shirt with naked ladies on the cuffs. All right. <laughs> okay. And uh, finally, what do you make of the fact that Top of the Pops have banned uh, Will Young singing both tracks uh, on the number one slot, and uh, consequently he wasn't on there at all? He had to show the video. The first time anyone's ever made this demand. He wants to sing both the A and uh, B side. Well, he can't. Exactly. It's double A, yeah. Double A side. That's well, what he wanted to do. That yeah. is how it works, is it? Yeah, I agree, yeah. And the thing is, which one... I mean, at the end of the day, loads of people have bought it, haven't they? Isn't it yes, like one of yes. the best? So it doesn't really matter what it does, because people have got it. They can listen to what song they want at home. It doesn't matter about what Top of the Pops do. Yes. And it, it's just annoyed me now. I, uh, it's Who's annoyed you? Th this, th just what goes on in the world. I'll tell you, you're better off not knowing. <laughs> I, I, it's better being in my little world. If that's what people are talking about on the streets and asking the white van man, do you know what I mean? I think you're right, Carl. I think you're Jeez. right. Shall I, shall I play a lovely song for you? Because you're getting all stressed now, aren't you? I've not had a good day. No, I know. We tell you about it. Like, it's not a good day. Well, I'm going to play um, uh, a, a Neil Young track here of Harvest. It's uh, Alabama. It's, it's, it's beautiful. And this is for Carl. <laughs> um, Carl, you went to uh, Habitat this week, didn't you? You're not going to believe this, Steve. Go on. He told me is this morning. No. Do you know I told you about those, um, mm -hmm. those lads at school with big heads? Sure, yeah, the big head lads, yeah. Right. <laughs> and the um, web feet. Yeah, web, web dams. Web dams, was it? Um... They weren't um, there, were they? They weren't there, but do you know, like, Ricky was always saying, oh, they don't exist, they only went to your school, you yeah. know, la la la. It was in Habitat, there was only one, one sat on a sofa. <laughs> Not one of the lads, but one of the... One a big of the, head lad. A big headed lad. What? Is that like I when you say a big headed lad? Is he like Frank Sidebottom? <laughs> big head. I mean, is it like? Uh, what is I don't it? know what it. This is why you know. It, it'd is be this, nice you to, think it's maybe a medical? Well, it'd be nice to, if there's a doctor listening. Sure. Right? Yeah, yeah. A doctor <laughs> listening to X Men, thinking I must phone up and fuel Carl's obsession with yeah. the deformed. Yeah. No, but it's not really deformed. But it how was just big is the head? Probably. You see, it's weird how it's always kids who I see with it. So I'm wondering whether. They, they have grow a into the head. head. Right. And yeah. then the, when they get older, <laughs> it works out all right. Like jumpers. My mum used to get me, but jumpers are size too big, yeah. so it'd last a year. So I'm just wondering if it's the same. So how old are these generally? Are they not like adults? They're like kids. Well, when they? I was at school, there, I was probably about seven, and this kid on And do they have to wear Sunday. any kind of apparatus to sort of keep their head from kind of, you know, uh, not tipping them over or sort of staying well, upright? Like I mean, he's, he's, well, I'm just worried that the head's kind of too heavy for their body or something in there. No, it's, I mean, it's not that big. Right. It's, uh, it's just not right. You kind of go, you, you sort of do a bit of a double take. Yeah. yeah. Um, like the fringe isn't sort of, you know, just above their eyes. It's quite high up. Sure. Um, yeah. that sickens you, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and is it something that repulses you slightly? Do you get no, that? No, 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 no. That's, that'd be cruel. No, sure. But, yeah. uh, but, you know. But it's not cruel to discuss it on the radio. Well, it happens, sure. right? Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, and I, I'd just like to know what it is. If it's like a. Like a, a water on the head type A thing. water on the head type thing. Like water on the knee, yeah, but <laughs> on the head. on the head. But, uh, yeah, if anyone knows what it is. Yeah. People with uh, big heads. Yeah, the, uh... And it's, yeah, okay. It'd be good. Good information. So, what time are we doing? You sure it wasn't perspective? You sure he wasn't sort of, um, sort of leaning forward and he was really tall? So yeah. the top of his, the, the head looked quite big, but then it went to a little body. But really, his body was a lot further no, away. No big head. Yeah. Yeah. Just a big head. The uh, rest of his body fine. Face okay. Everything's normal. You weren't looking at him in a kettle. If you wore a hat, <laughs> it'd be all right. But what do you mean? If you wore a hat, he'd be all right. You'd probably just think, oh, it's a big hat. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, what sort of hat? So you don't what? want to have, like a ten-gallon hat? Yeah, with, with that would go down onto his well, shoulders with two eyes cut in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like something like, from the Ant Hill mob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael Benteen's potty time. Oh, yeah. How would a hat help him? Yeah. Are, Are you sure this wasn't a Diddy man? <laughs> <laughs>
Ah! I, I'm not being mean. I just want to no. know what it is. No. Okay. Right. Well, yeah. if you are a doctor listening and you and you you know you want to use your kind of free Saturday. Not the doctor who phoned the bloke in America and said, "Where do I get blood from?" Sure. Not that doctor, because yeah. I assume he's been struck off now. Given sure. Give us a call and sort out the the whole big head conundrum. What's the number? Uh, oh eight seven hundred eight hundred one two three four. That's also the number to call if you have Bruce Springsteen tickets available. Play I will pay up to forty seven. Don't pounds. do it. Go yourself. Don't give them to Steve for cost price. Make a little profit. Oh, I mean, don't say to Mickey. Don't me up. You know what I feel. You've already ruined the bad thing. Don't ruin but, some more of my dreams. But I tell you what, if you do get Steve um, a ticket, so he'll be so grateful that he will spend a bit of money on you. I, I imagine so. you'll buy the tickets and you know give him something pretty special because you're earning now and you know. Yeah. So yeah, let me discuss that with them. <laughs> Mick. I mean, let's not make any promises. <laughs> and in my place on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant. Hello Hi, Steve. there. Hello. 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 Carl in there, pressing the buttons. Great to be here. Yeah. How long can you maintain it? I'm bored already. already. Yeah, already bored of doing bored that. Bored already. Every week you start it the same way. Yeah. That was not bad though. You actually grammatically made sense. Which is really? uh, impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks so, very much. A rare treat indeed from yeah. Ricky Gervais. Um, some of the uh, listeners have already worked out. Uh, got nothing to say at all. <laughs> sure, haven't prepared again. No, we were we we did come in half hour early to prepare, but instead, me and Carl were playing. You had to flick the football into the bin. Right. We had five goes each, or the world was going to end. Okay, and that that took up. That took up a good twenty-five minutes. Yeah, I liked it when we came back, and then we started just trying to beat each other in the corridor. And I beat him. I scored a goal. He, he was gutted because he thought he, he fancied himself a football, and I beat him. Um, mm. And I was knackered and sweating. Yeah. Um, and uh, as I walked back to you about five minutes ago, you were looking through the records. You went, and this was lovely. You went. <sighs> Well, we've done the preparation then. Uh, yeah. Like a sarcastic teacher. Yeah. Like a teenager, like an annoyed <laughs> teenager. <laughs> whose parents have embarrassed him once again. <laughs> and you beat Carl, did you? Yeah. Because you're not. Yeah. I mean, you're not particularly. I'm not good at football. Well, no. you're not particularly nimble on your feet. Oh, come no, on. No, you're not. Douglas Spardo is <laughs> um, more nimble. I'm all right. I'm you're all not. right. But it, Carl's sort of, I think he's got more skills than me, but he hasn't got the aggression and the sure. weight. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. just pushed him aside. Yeah, good work. Yeah. Good work. I'm going on holiday. Are you? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here next week. What are you gonna do, Carl? Are you gonna do the best of or something next week, aren't you? Yeah, that's what we've got to sort out. Well, I can't sort it out. I've literally, I've, I've got to go to the airport no, after No, no, straight after the show you've got to do some links. No, so. I'm not doing any links. I said I wouldn't, so... That's we... what we planned. No, we didn't. I said I'd do some during the show, and then you I could... thought you were joking. I, I, I honestly can't do it today, so we do some during the show. What are you gonna do? Just put the shows that we've done in this year? Sorry, guys. Uh, I hate to interrupt. This <laughs> is the sort of stuff we should have been discussing <laughs> when you were playing football. <laughs> I know. Play rec. What are you gonna play? Play Let's rec. Let's have a bit of food talk? fighters. Okay. Let's just discuss <laughs> this off there. Okay. Okay. Shite. Monkey news. The jingle, please. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's been quite a lot of stuff going on. There was a few bits in that. Guinness Book of Records <laughs> book that cost me twenty quid. Yeah, well, that's not news, is it? They printed that probably last September. No, so that's there's, there's one in there. New music, new music, new new monkey news <laughs> from last September. <laughs> You're a lord. Come on, waster. Please, Ricky. Monkey news. Um, <laughs> right. There was this this monkey in uh, in a zoo in Brazil. Right. Right. Mm. And uh, this little man monkey, little woman monkey. And, uh, You're a scientist, aren't you? Go on. And they said, uh, the people in charge were like, oh, wouldn't it be good if they had kids? Brilliant. Right. So, uh, anyway, the chimps used to stand sort of, you know, they'd have their little caves each, and they used to sort of, <laughs> they used to sort of, uh, lean on the fence having a bit of a chat and stuff with each other. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, gossiping, yeah, gossiping. The, the equivalent sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, they were getting on a storm and, like, the, the zookeepers were like... <laughs> Can you hear that cheapest chimps this week? <laughs> Okay, it was fascinating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just gossiping. I understand. So, uh, uh, what's uh, any monkey news? <laughs> I don't know. It's tune in. What was the uh, monkey news this week? <laughs> Come on, it was from last September. Go so on. they were um, they were st you know stood there having a chat, and the zookeepers were like, "I wonder if they're ever gonna you know have kids and that." Yeah. Anyway, it went on for ages. You know, this just chatting, no, no sort of action. <sighs> so what the zookeepers did was, they uh, they said, "I know they'll have kids." Are we letting that go? They were just chatting. Are we just letting just that go? We're letting it you know go. what I mean? The, I mean, just doing whatever monkeys do. Okay. Right? So, um, so yeah. So the zookeepers were like, "Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna, you know, have some kids." Yeah. Anyway, what they decided to do t to sort of do to egg them on. Yeah. Um, 
bottom, but one of them a suit, one a wedding dress. Right. <laughs> Keep going! No, I'm not having Shut it. up, Jermaine. Fade him down if he's gonna interrupt, I wanna they hear got, the rest of they got, they got married. So and, they got uh, married? Yeah, they got married. Right. What? That's the end of it! That's- This is why I don't- Right! <laughs> that's the end of Monkey News! <laughs> that's the end of Monkey News! Don't do that again, you've got no features left! Why don't you like that? What, well, it's not a story! See? It's like, it's about two chimps chatting, which doesn't happen. The zookeeper's going, I wonder if they're gonna ever have kids. And come on, they got married. That's the end of the story. What are you talking about? Hang on, just calm down. Let me just check that you didn't make a mistake there and didn't lose out. What do you it mean you didn't make a mistake? Wait a minute, he may have just left out a fundamental piece of information. What, the would, story? That would have made it into a story. Right. Let me just check, let me just check the facts. So they, they, they bought them wedding outfits. They were married. Did they propose to each other or did they, were they just forcibly Don't married? Don't encourage just, him. Just forced. And it. then what was the outcome? Once they got married, what happened? They fell in love? Yeah. What? Whoa, it's quiet. not a marriage, Carl. Be quiet. It's not a real marriage. I don't know what you've got in your head. It's like the head of Homer Simpson. I'd go in there and there'd be a wedding reception and there'd be a couple of fights and they'd be talking about stuff. They got married. They fell in love. Did they have children? Um, they're not back off the honeymoon yet. <laughs> <laughs> Play record. You've got no features left. My favourite suede song there, Stay Together. Bye, suede. <laughs> Stay together. Well done. Well yeah. Done. That's what you're being paid for. Well, no, because it could have been a suede song sung by Atomic Kitten. Sure. And like I said, that's my favourite suede song by Atomic Kitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thanks for that. Do you think this is the worst show we've ever done? Uh, no, I mean, we've done some god awful shows in the past. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, some real grim ones in the past. Okay. Do, do you think people see through it even before we tell them that we're not really cutting the mustard, yes. putting the effort in. We've got, we yes. had nothing to say last week. No, I don't think anyone's fooled. I think, really? I think people, some people are tolerating us because they quite like your TV work, but I mean, other than that, I think they know and the And I haven't played good music. Well, I, we, don't, we, don't skip on, we don't skip on the tunes. But you know. if I was listening to this, I'd be thinking I could do a better job. I'd be livid if I worked in like some, if I worked in like a bakery or something <laughs> and I was like, I, I hate this job and I'm, and I'm listening to us, you know, gibbing about on the radio, I'd be livid, I'd be angry. Really? Yeah. I mean, but if this was a BBC show, I'd, I'd, oh, I'd go mental. Why? Yeah, well, because I'd be paying a licence fee and everything, so oh, I'd okay. yeah, it, it would feel like it was my money being squandered. But we'd have to At least this is advertisers' money being squandered. Yeah. You know, this is big corporations. Screw them! <laughs> yeah, and people haven't paid anyway, have they? A lot of them haven't. They probably yeah. paid for the batteries in their radio. Maybe if they're listening in. We're yeah. so sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I, well, I thought you were just for wasting their time, Rick. But next week's gonna be a clip show again! Yeah, there's gonna be a clip Carl's show. But Carl's gonna do, we are decided that Carl's gonna just do the links next week yeah. by himself. Or maybe get a guest, a guest uh, hosting, maybe a, 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 you know, like, what was that, Dennis Norden? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Norden type. You know, um, in the Sony Awards you hand in one show, don't you? Uh, yeah. We could hand in next week's, couldn't we? Because it was broadcast in this year, just that it's a clip show from years ago. Yeah. You, you know, because you, uh, you could hand in I Love 1975, couldn't you? In the BAFTAs or something. Yeah, you could. Yeah. So yeah. should we, are you, are you, you're even bored, aren't you? You're bored with this show as well. This is terrible attitude. I'm just. It, I we're thought, allowed to be bored. We're the we're the talent. I right? thought you were going to give us like ten minutes after the show to do them, but I can't. I've got to go. Yeah. Right. Do you want to wrap on. it up, Steve? Because Ricky's taxi might be waiting now. So no, it's this, it's this attitude, Ricky. You going to put up with that? Don't I'm, you know I, who you are? I, I just don't believe it. They uh, they should be chomping at the bit to get. They, they should. I can't believe their luck. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Sure. And uh, do I get treated at least different? Sorry. No. Yeah. Worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Answers on a postcard if you can figure <laughs> out what that sentence meant. <laughs> and there'll be a DVD on its way to you. Listen, um, we had a, an email from Glenn and Sharon, and uh, Sharon was rushed into hospital last week, and they wanted us to play something for, uh, I know she's back now and she's okay, but, uh, but anyway, uh, they always listen to the show, they're big fans. They asked for some Nick Drake, I'll play some Nick Drake next time, but, um, but instead I thought we could play a, a classic Dylan track. I know yeah. you're a big fan of Dylan. Yeah. Just like a woman, it's just beautiful, and, uh, and that's my song for the ladies. We won't see you next week, Ricky's away, but there should be a hilarious uh, compilation of all our best <laughs> moments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I look forward to that. Nobody feels any pain.